It's all up to you, it's all up to the player. You shape and create the world around you as you skate. But on top of that, the ability for the player to look at the environment, to see potential gameplay, and to take elements and bend them and stretch them and twist them so that you could make that, uh, that vision become a reality. As you go through the game, you earn more points, you get bigger skate lines, you do more elaborate tricks. So your wave of influence gets more elaborate as a result. When you're at your maximum power, uh, you could actually transform huge buildings to create new skating opportunities. We have uh, what we call ground shaping, where you would take a patch of ground and you could morph it down and therefore, as a result, you would reveal, for example, uh, a subway station underneath the ground that you could then skate it. So the whole game really rests upon you thinking about how can I expand this city and make it bigger and more exciting than it was when I started. It's fun, it's exciting, it's definitely like feeling connected with the game. While we have this innovation of shaping and transformation, it's really critical for us to have a solid skateboarding base underneath all that. So it was really good for us to work with Sean because he was able to show us the feet placement, give us a sense of the weight of the skater when he's doing tricks, how the balance would work. So when the player sees it, he sees a, a pop shove it or a kick flip or an impossible, and he will see the movement of the board, the movement of the feet, the preparation of the skate, and looks exactly how you would do it in real life. There's so much creativity, not only like in you know the individuals and the tricks they do, but the way they do it and, and where. 